Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss about computation. You know, in this page, you see in the page rendering, we have uh, regions, buttons, items, etc. And in the page processing, we have computation, validation, process, branches, etc. And the shared component, other things. Now, we will discuss about the computation. Now, why do we, do we need computation and what is the use of, of it? Uh, in in cases in the um, entry form, you see you uh, some of the fields you do not enter, and the the user do not have any idea what the value is going to be there. For example, the user ID is set in the field and goes to the table. Similarly, the uh, system date and time, and and in some cases, for example, you have entered one value, and you can set the column of other value based on that value you, in these cases you can uh, create a computation or uh, in some cases you want uh, for example you uh, you want the uh, the value of the uh, the column must be uh, a capital capital letters so you can uh, do that in the comp computation the in user enters uh, as usual in the Failed, but the in the database the value is uh, saved with the capital letters. All values are capital letters. So in this case we can use computation. In the page processing, the first item is computation, then validation, and then processes. So keep in mind, keep in mind that before the data is actually uh, saved into the database, the computation is used. So that means you set the column with a value that you design, you uh, define here, and then that value can be validated with the validation. Now, the you uh, can create computation, and then these values are ins inserted into the data database with this process. Basic thing is you create, you uh, create computation to set some value automatically, which user do not have to enter exclusively automatically those values will be set in that cases you create computation so let's begin with computation we will create computation uh, very uh, various com computations in this session so uh, we want the department name to be capital always okay so let's create a computation click on the plus uh, item on this page, okay, next. Now you will, you will have to select the item name, department name is the item, competition point after submit, okay, no problem, static assignment. No, it's not a static assignment, it will be a, a SQL query return single value, okay. Next, select upper P3 department name from dual. Okay, next. So it is com is it is not com uh, conditional. Next. Okay, now let's run it. What the name? Test DPT. Okay, data is saved. Now let's see what happened to the department name. You see, it is capital. We didn't do anything, only we created a computation, and the, that computation automatically update uh, made the 
field upper case and that value was saved what we did here is nothing but it was a, a simple sql query return single value this was the query very simple query now we're going to change a little bit here we're going to change it to for example PLSQL function body okay now what will happen here see it's not a function it's just a function body so that means it will return a value declare declare v value worker to for example 100 begin end V value equal to upper department name return V value. Okay, then it is a simple a very simple function body now apply changes okay now run okay. great test dpt2 Okay, so this is the way you can do it. It is a very simple way to create a computation. You see, first we created a computation with uh, a single SQL query which which returns a single value, and then we created a function, PL SQL function body. So this is the uh, type you can uh, create. Now we're going to create uh, another computation which will save the. So we're going to create another item here. Uh, it is the text field name. ENT 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 user ENT user next 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 it will be database column ENT user create item basically this one should be a hidden item user does not know where it belongs no it will be a hidden item ok apply changes Now we will set the this item p3 int user with the logged in user. Okay, now let's create a computation item in this page. Next, 
this is the item p e n t user static assignment okay this is the static assignment next you what will this be and a p p underscore user dot you must this is a static assignment uh this is a static assignment for the logged in user uh, so and m person a p p user and dot you must specify the dot here otherwise it will not work next now this one must be uh, since uh, it is a entry user so this one must be request equal to create create so that means whenever the create button is created uh, click only this field will be populated no now it is now let's create computation okay now let's run it yet again test 3 okay 200 now let's create value uh, is insert now we are not seeing here that value so we are gonna show the column here it will be comma ent user apply changes run see this is the admin user so our this capital was done uh we inserted small letter but it was converted to capital letter and we didn't provide any user id uh, as input but uh the value was set with the value with, with the name uh, admin okay so thank you for watching this is a very simple uh, demonstration you can uh, do the pay, uh, computation in many ways So thank you for watching thank you everybody